the whole thing wobbing. So we have some absolutely massive Madden 24 news to talk about today regarding field passes and my thoughts kind of on it, but I gotta say, this is game changing. Now, I do want to give a shout out to Devin for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid, make sure you guys are subbed to the channel, turn notification bell on, and comment down below, Noti Gang. Also, guys, we have more NFL preseason this entire weekend. We also have UFC, which I will definitely be making picks for those fights tonight. And, of course, we have more preseason throughout the rest of the next couple weeks here. And we have the NFL season-long picks, NBA season-long picks, and finally, the NFL regular season. So if you guys want to check out Underdog Fantasy, you can use code ZERK to match first deposit up to $100 and follow me over on Twitter for my picks. And make sure you guys enter my giveaway right now for the five copies of the deluxe edition of Madden 24. I'm drawing giveaway winners tomorrow. All you guys have to do is retweet the tweet, follow me over on Twitter, and comment down below on that tweet, ZERK luck. All right, so as you guys can see, I'm on Madden 23 just to kind of talk about this here. And then I'm going to showcase some stuff that we actually saw from Mutt Leaks about this actually potentially coming in Madden 23, and it just never did but we have some big time news on field passes obviously a big thing with the field passes a lot of people don't necessarily have the time that is needed to level it up now unfortunately so as of right now all we have is this off-season field pass you know doesn't really showcase how good the rewards can be and i'll showcase for you guys what the season one rewards look like currently for madden 24 we already know that information but if you didn't already know this i made a video a couple days ago talking about this some people have Madden 24 already and I'm not talking about just EA game changers who got access to the game that got to record videos that likely will be pushing videos out probably today we'll see about that maybe they're already out by the time you guys watch the video I believe someone already did actually post a video uh, the day that I'm recording this video here so I do believe they'll be starting to push out a bunch of videos probably today we'll see on that but some people got the game early from Amazon, which is crazy, but some people are in the UK, managed to get the game early there. I've all seen some other people get the game early as well, but that's another story there. But essentially, yes, some people are in Madden right now, and as I told you guys, you follow me over on Twitter, Madden Ultimate Team, the servers were shut down. However, as of the night before, as of right now, when I'm recording this video, they actually opened up the MUD servers. So right now, the Madden Ultimate Team servers are up, People are able to see everything that is currently going on in the game. Uh, there's just no card arts currently. But one big thing that I have now seen from two different people that I have talked to, and there are other people as well who've been getting this information, that there are buyable levels in the field pass. Now, what does that mean? I will say I asked one guy who was currently playing Madden 24, hey, how many points is it per level? How many levels can you buy? Whatever. He said he saw for sure that there were viable mutt levels, but going into it, it glitched out and maxed him out completely. Obviously, when the game is not, you know, officially fully out, whatever, there are some glitches that happen. I have had Madden early in years past before, not given me by EA, but I managed to get some early copies before. And there were some glitches that were happening in there. So, unfortunately, I don't know the prices of the levels. I don't know if it's like a bundle thing. You can buy 10 levels for this much, 20 levels for that much, whatever. But he did confirm, and as I said, somebody else also has confirmation that they saw Mutt levels purchasable in Madden 24. Now, again, I do want to emphasize here that they are in the game early. As I mentioned, they went into the field pass, it glitched out, and it maxed them out, right? Now, maybe the game fully releases to us, and that buy mutt levels thing was just there for EA to test things out and try to get the level up, and, you know, they could load Madden points onto the account and level it up, right? That's definitely a possibility, but if that is truly in the game, it wouldn't be the biggest shock, because we already knew it was in Madden 23, they just never implemented it. This is actually a screenshot here from Mutt Leaks, which, as you guys have been seeing the last couple of days, yeah, Mutt Leaks been showing us a whole lot going on with Madden 24, right? Pack animations and a whole lot more than that. As you can see right here, this from last year. This actually last summer, just a couple of days before Madden 23 released, there was this information. Are you sure you want to purchase this level for whatever? It didn't say the price there. So we know that for a fact, in Madden 23, they had this technology available to purchase levels for the field pass, and they never put it in the game. They absolutely never put it in the game. Even people that had the game early, whatever, I never saw any reports about it actually being in a, you know, a function, anything at all. People right now that are in Madden 24 Ultimate Team, 
they are at least seeing that option there so once again most definitely there is a chance that when madden 24 drops that is not in the game okay most certainly i want to put that out there there is a chance that right now ea has that in the game as an added feature just to test things out right now but they 100 percent have the capability to do so i wish that we knew how much the prices were currently looking like but i really want your guys opinions on this because you can kind of see it one of two ways in my opinion right as a content creator i guess three ways because uh my opinion is not going to be the same as 99 percent of the populations as a content creator i like this simply because now i can put this time towards other content i don't have to sit here and grind out grind out grind out levels over and over and over again and i can also buy all the levels and then showcase for you guys what all of the content is right now with that being said though if this game does launch which of course right now monday 8 p.m eastern time is looking like when it will release if you have the deluxe edition if that launches with buyable levels that would allow people to get quite a good start right you can see all of the rewards that are actually available in there you know you get max fantasy packs whatever those are level 61 you get a triumph elite pack star elite pack player uh, playmaker pack as well you get coach madden as a bnd but you also do get some players right you get 83 overall bnd deandre swift you get an 85 overall bnd reggie white you get all these jalen ramsey tokens uh and yeah you also get a deandre hopkins 86 overall so would that be a advantage for people that were able to go ahead and buy points and then boom level up the field pass absolutely now i think it would also depend on you know how expensive those levels actually ended up being in madden 24 because let's say it costs i don't know 250 bucks right to level up your field pass fully are people going to go ahead and spend that i'm not too sure i'm not sure if people would go ahead and spend that right now to get these players here because uh the bryce young you know people already have the josh Allen with the pre-order uh the deandre swift people don't really care about that reggie white the jalen ramsey tokens and of course the deandre hopkins those are cool right those are three players right there and then you get a bunch of packs let me know would you buy all of the levels right now if it was only 250 dollars? i don't know what the prices are could be more could be could be less I don't know but you obviously are gonna have people that don't like this because they feel like it's unfair if they can't purchase this if they don't want to spend the money to go ahead and do it because then those people are gonna have cards that maybe are not accessible to everybody unless you do the same initially now i know other games like call of duty obviously have the option to purchase levels in their passes right which allow you to get certain things like new guns in the game that you can't get unless you're a certain level in like the pass so you know that's kind of an unfair advantage well you could say over there but i feel like with madden ultimate team i don't know if it really how do i put it it feels the same right if someone has a 89 overall jalen ramsey versus someone having a new famas that is only available with leveling up the pass is the famas higher value than maybe the best cornerback in the game i don't really think so there's always other classes you could potentially use in call of duty whereas jalen ramsey would be the best corner by far but then there are also people that are very very excited about this that are not content creators that again just don't have the time they don't have the time to get on here level up the passes but they really really want some of their favorite players like ramsey they want to get the packs everything and they think it would be worth it so this is really really big uh again i don't have any pictures to show i can't show pictures anyways because that is in-game content and i'm not allowed to show in-game content of madden 24 until that game drops of course uh but yes i do know for a fact that the person that told me that they saw mutt levels were purchasable they are 100 in the game i can confirm they have sent me enough proof to prove they are in fact in the game uh but yeah i am very very interested to say the least to see if this game does release and in fact mutt levels are purchasable with everybody i want to see the prices on them and maybe it is something that won't be in the game when it officially launches right i mean like i, sh I showed you guys this actually was in the data for madden 23 and then obviously a lot of people made videos about it people talked about it and i will say i, I think a lot of the feedback was kind of negative about it and i don't know if that maybe scared ea away from ever implementing it in madden 23 and now they're thinking it's okay to go ahead in madden 24 or for some reason they just never had the plan to do it in 23 but had it built into the game 
for i guess later instances in case they wanted to well, let me know down below what you guys think about this i will likely have some more videos today we'll see if we get like the mutt database maybe a gridiron note some more reveals rookie premiere overalls i am unsure but definitely wanted to talk about this let me know down below what you guys think about it hope you guys enjoyed see you guys next time and if you guys enjoyed this video check out these